A community on the south side of Indianapolis is making progress tonight, transforming a contaminated wasteland into a park. Our Logan Gay tells us why some Hoosiers believe it's important to preserve that land. The Norwood community is rich in history. One of the people documenting this history says it's actually home to one of the oldest and most stable black neighborhoods in the country. It really is kind of a little time capsule of a community and the way that, you know, they've been able to be resilient and build and thrive together here um, is an inspiring story. Part of that history involves a famous black artist named John Hardrick. The land he used to own is now surrounded by barbed wire. Kayla Austin says after he died, it became a cold storage site for Citizens Energy, which has created some contamination issues on the property. There are a lot of health concerns in the neighborhood that we've been battling for a long time. But Austin says the neighbors are hoping the next chapter for this property will be something more family friendly, like a park. They'd really like it to be something like a living history museum. So the way that Connor Prairie feels, how do you integrate the history of their neighborhood? Austin says the community has been having conversations with Indy Parks about how to ensure the land will be safe enough for the park. We've been talking about what it looks like to cap certain parts of the property so that um, the contamination is not as big of a deal in those spaces, but I don't know what that will look like moving forward. 13 News reached out to the city about the possibility of this happening. A city spokesperson sent a statement that read, The city has been having conversations with Norwood Place residents around their visions for the property, and a potential future park is part of that dialogue. It'll give us a gathering place, right? Uh, and not just for the communities here on the south side, but, um, you know, I think that Black Indianapolis needs a place for the arts. Uh, and that if we can have it here in a very authentic place, the home of one of our first black painters, then that would be kind of a, a beautiful full circle moment. If everything goes to plan, the Norwood Place community has a goal to open the park by 2027. In Indianapolis, Logan Gay, 13 News.